Assalamu alaikum, greetings of peace. How you guys doing? Subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell. Now I'm gonna share some, a few videos that were shared with me. I'm gonna share them with you because I think this is very important that we're up to speed. We're up to date on what's going on. First one is they're all with women. So inshallah, this gets the women feminists really motivated to step up and defend these women's rights because this is a matter of women's rights. This is this is clear violation and oppression on women, on children. So let's get into this first video of a woman going into the YMCA. She thinks she's going to a safe environment there to go ahead into the woman's, it's supposed to be the woman's locker room. Lo and behold, she is surprised by what happens next. And this is her testimony, her story. Check it out. My name is Rebecca Phillips, and I'm 17 years old. I am not a resident of Santee, but I am employed at a local restaurant, the Omelette Factory, and I work out regularly at the Santee YMCA. Just two weeks ago, after finishing my shift at my job, I went to the gym to swim laps. As I was showering after my workout, I saw a naked male in the women's locker room. I immediately went back into the shower, terrified, and hid behind their flimsy excuse for a curtain until he was gone. I ran into a bathroom stall to change as quickly as I could, organizing my thoughts to share with the people at the front desk. As I did so, I could only think of my five-year-old sister, who I bring to this gym during the summer to, to, scar, sorry, to enjoy their water slides. This is the YMCA, where hundreds of children spend their summer afternoons in childcare camps. This is the YMCA where my little sister took gymnastics lessons the locker room was supposed to be her safe haven to gossip with her friends and shower and change. When I asked the YMCA management what their policy was regarding transgenders, they confirmed that the man that I saw was indeed allowed to shower wherever he pleased. As long as you are not a red flag on Megan's Law, the California Sex Offender Registry, a grown male can shower alongside a teenage girl at your YMCA location here in Santee. I was made to feel as though I had done something wrong when I talked to people at the YMCA. Somehow, the indecent exposure of a male to a female minor was an inconvenience to them. When my dad spoke to the sheriff's office, they told him that he should never allow me to shower there ever again. The YMCA wouldn't let my father speak to the manager of the Santee branch. After waiting several days, he finally received a call from Terry Moss, who is the director of membership for San Diego County. She informed my dad that I was not in any danger at the time of the incident, that I was safe. But I ask you this, I'm assuming all of you either have a wife, a sister, daughters or granddaughters or are a woman yourself. Could you knowingly send an underage girl into a room where there was a naked male and say that she was not in danger, that she was safe, or more importantly, that this was right? The fact that we are now tailoring our privacy policies and bathroom laws around transgenders, ignoring the blatant threat to safety that this poses is obscene. The safety of children, girls, is on the chopping block. And this issue is not unique to one political party. Both Democrats and Republicans whom I have shared this story with have all been equally disgusted. So I implore you all to take action. With great privilege comes great responsibility. Whether it's requiring transgenders to use the single cell family restrooms or making them use the bathroom which aligns with their biological trans. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. Approach the podium, state your name and where you live for the record. I'm the Quimper Peninsula. And um, I'm here because I had an experience that you need to know. I have sent it to you all in detail. In an effort by the city and the YMCA to apply the neocultural gender rules at Mountain View Pool dressing shower room facilities, women and children are being put at risk. My experience while showering after my swim was hearing a man's voice in the women's dressing area and seeing a man in a women's swimsuit watching little girls pull down their bathing suits in order to use the toilets in the dressing room. I reacted by telling him to leave. And the consequence is that I have been banned from the pool. There is no signage informing women the shower room is now all gender and what that means. Nor have parents been informed of what they can expect with these new policies. 
The Y has not provided any dressing shower room options for women who do not want to be exposed to men who identify as women. It is unconscionable that the YMCA would instigate these new policies without clearly informing pool patrons and parents. Although in 2021, the Y reported that they were adding family and all gender dressing and bathing areas, they've not done that. Instead, they've usurped the binary designations and turned the facilities into all gender with no choices. The staff seems to have received little professional training on how to handle reactions to such a radical cultural change, particularly for the most vulnerable, older female patrons and children who may be exposed to inappropriate behavior. The dignity and safety of unsuspecting women who have trusted to use these facilities for many years. This is not right. The YMCA, the city, the police and sheriffs, the parents need to come together to figure out how to make the new policies work for all pool patrons, not just one group. How to keep children who are less able to discriminate safe. It is ironic that women who discriminate when a situation threatens their safety or their children a message from our ancestors, are now accused of discrimination as if they have made someone else a victim. We need to do much more intelligent and wise about applying the rules and developing policies that are respectful and inclusive. Thank you. Okay, next video, something very similar. And these things, as you can see, they're just popping up. This is happening. Uh, imagine how many are just not being filmed like this. So now you 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 got to be aware of tomorrow you're sending your wife or you're sending your family, your daughter, and you think you're sending her into the bathroom or you're thinking you're sending her into all women's locker room. You got to be aware that these are the kind of things now that can, that can happen. So we want to keep our children safe. We want to keep our families safe. So you can't be naive to the new, what they want to push, the new norm. So this is the second video, same thing, woman in a locker room, and she gets surprised with this. It's okay. It's okay for a man to go into the women's section, show his penis around the other women, young little girls under age. Your spa, we spa, condone that. Is that what you're saying? Like I asked, it's so he so he could stay there. He could stay there. Okay, no, I'm not one. Actually, I'm a woman who knows how to stand up and speak up for my right. As a woman, I have a right to feel comfortable without a man exposing himself. Okay, no, you go somewhere else. Okay, so that's right. No, he's not a transgender. He has a penis, just like you do. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? No. Yeah. Okay, it's not okay. Okay, that's traumatizing to see that. I'm a woman. I think this is a place right here. I'm told only for women. So how dare you sit up here and tell me I don't have a right as a woman to defend? I'm telling you, he has a penis, a full and testicle. Okay, and I don't care what it's called. It's a man. You got one. You're a man. A men's section with our anatomy. That would be. Well, it would and probably, but you might not like women, so it might not. Okay? Oh. And we don't know, but for me and for a lot of other women, they do not feel comfortable, and it's not okay. Okay. All right, moving along, we got one final one. Same scenario. You, you can see a pattern here. So this woman's at the gym, and she gets surprised with a man coming into the ladies, what's supposed to be the ladies' room, the ladies' washroom, the ladies' changing room. And this is her encounter and her experience, uh, what happened to her. Here are the facts surrounding Paul Bixler. He's a 72 year old biological man. For the most of his life, he has been married, has two children. He has lived the life of a biological man. He is attracted to women. He was married to a woman 30, 40 years. He sits on the school board of an elementary school in Buckeye, Arizona called Liberty Elementary. This man is claiming to be a woman. It's a bad picture. Hold on. There we go. This man 
tells the little children at the school that he is a woman. He wears clothing, he wears lipstick, and he uses the same restroom, the same restroom as your little girls. He also uses the women's locker room at eSport of Fitness in Goodyear, Arizona. He has been spotted yesterday in the women's locker room in eSport of Fitness in Goodyear, Arizona. He went on local television claiming victimhood because people like myself, parents who have the right to speak up against their elected officials, are harassing and bullying him. Paul Bixler cannot be voted off the school board. He must either willingly step down or be recalled. The recall is being started. Please email Paul Bixler. His email is in the description. Let him know kindly that he stepped down from the school board willingly and cease and desist from using women's facilities or charges will be filed with the Buckeye Police Department. I am at the gym in Arizona. He's undressing in the locker room. Top off bra off and Paul Bixler was in the women's locker room and he looked at me and he looked at my breasts and I have called the police. So recently he's used the men's locker room. So he agrees himself that he's a man. I have told the police that I was in the locker room. A man was in there. I was getting undressed. He looked at me. He is a man in the women's locker room. And the response is that this is a touchy, sensitive issue in society. Yep, there he goes, women's locker room. There's the man going in the women's locker room. Hope there's no one undressing in there. Exactly. Hope there's no naked women in there. Since there's a man in the, why isn't anyone warning the women? Just so everyone knows he's not being arrested. We are at a point where we're catering to society instead of facts. This is alarming. Women's rights are being violated. And I'm not going to put up with it. But Paul, if you're a Hold female, up, ma 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 why do you use the men's restroom sometimes and the women's restroom sometimes? Please stay away from him. Yes, politely, like I said. He will suffer no... Now, you guys, uh, you know, as Muslims, we're very protective over our family. We are ones who... It's very explicitly, lucidly clear in the verbatim word of God Almighty, the Quran. There's truth, certain truths in there. They they cannot be compromised. Like for instance, the pure monotheism is very clear in there that God Almighty, Allah is only one. There's only one God. It cannot be three and one, one and three. It's very clear. The Quran is very, very clear on the day of judgment that the day of judgment is coming. The Quran is very clear about paradise. The, the Quran is very clear about the hellfire. Uh, the, the Quran paints a very, very vivid and clear picture of the people who transgress and people who are oppressors and the unjust and all of these things, you know, the people who spread evil and corruption in the land. This is very clear of what awaits them. So there are certain truths, the purpose of life, very clear in the Quran, what you've been created for, what's your purpose in life, very clear in the Quran. And another one related to this topic very explicitly clear that the man is not like the woman the woman is not like the man god almighty has created the man and created the woman and he is the only one without a gender so it's very very lucidly clear that we, we cannot compromise when it comes to these things because this is part of our religion our deen our way of life now watching all this and just seeing the progression of the catering to people's desires to catering to people to go ahead and transgress on other people's rights. It reminded me of a verse, an ayah from the verbatim, verbatim word of God Almighty, the Quran, in chapter 23, verse 71. This is the creator speaking. This is the meaning where he says, but if the truth had followed their desires, their inclinations, the heavens and the earth and whatever is in them would have been ruined so you see what happens. You can see the progression slowly and slowly what's happening when the human being is led to follow his or her desires and what kind of transgressions are being transgressed. So we have to stand guard to protect our families, to protect our loved ones, and we can't be naive to what's going on. We need to speak up. We need to collaborate with other people uh, people of the book, uh, Jews, Christians, and people of other faiths also who see this as a violation of rights, who want to protect their women folk 
and want to protect their children. Uh, this is something where we need to work together. We need to be a voice. We need to show that this is wrong. This is not the way forward. And we need to stand up and speak out. We need to speak out. We cannot remain silent. Hopefully this motivates more people to speak out. And we'll see you next time. Until then, peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. I cannot leave without giving you a gift. If you're not yet Muslim and you're tuning in to see what these Muslims are talking about and you like a free copy of the Quran, go ahead and visit thedeanshow.com. We'll take care of the postage and everything and get it delivered to you. And if you still have some questions about Islam, call us at 1-800-662-4752. We'll see you next time. Until then, peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. And if you like this episode of The Dean Show, like this video, share this video, far and wide and support us on our patreon page so we can continue this work thank you for tuning in peace be with you assalamu alaikum